So I've come to Coles to smell some candles. Would you like to join me? I stopped off here to see which Yankee candles they had, and I saw Sonoma candles and uh, quite a few selections. So I thought I would check some of them out and just do an uh, off the cuff uh, analysis of these candles. Right here we have a coconut mojito. Coconut mojito, a great cocktail. Let's see if it's a great candle. Whoa. Okay, so we definitely get the coconut, we definitely get the pineapple, and we're getting, you know, a little bit of that mint. But... Whew. Okay, so I'm not kidding when I open these jars, smell them. Uh, this looks like it's a tri tri-color candle. First thing I pick up on, uh, stinky bugs. I'm not kidding, and I really don't want to put the candle down because I notice after a while that does blow off. But as soon as you open that lid, stinky bugs. You know those little guys, little bugs that float around you. By chance, you step on one or crush one, they have that awful smell. Um, we have blue Hawaiian. All right, so melon driven, a little bit of pixie stick, candy action, artificial fruit. Kind of reminds me of a Bahama Breeze, Yankee Candle, Luau party. But really what we're dealing with is super, super uh, ripe pineapple on this blue Hawaiian. What else do we have here? Watermelon Sangria. Watermelon Sangria. A lot of candles these days are um, uh, inspired by beverages, which I guess is good because that makes them more refreshing. Wow. Did I get the wrong candle? <laughs> um, okay, um, it smells like watermelon, but it's certainly a, an artificial watermelon, and it's not even a tart watermelon, like a Jolly Rancher watermelon. Um, but by and large, this candle does not smell like watermelon. It smells like cantaloupe, honeydew melon, maybe. Um, it's very strange why they went with the, the watermelon name. Um, but it does smell good, which I guess is the whole point. A Tahitian pineapple. Let's see how this differs from the blue Hawaiian. Uh, in fact, uh, you get a little bit less ripe pineapple and some florals in there. Um, no way I would be able to identify these sorts of florals. They're not these heavy tropical flowers, more of a soft like blossom smell. Mild creamy pineapple uh, with a little bit of a white blossom in the back. Uh, lush island palm. Uh, so cedar and definitely greenage, green leaves. I use this word all the time, chlorophyll. Those of you who get those little shots of wheatgrass at uh, Jamba Juice, you'll know what I'm talking about. Big time green. And uh, contrasted by cedar, we have a mango margarita. To women. Mango, definitely, and getting a little bit of the mango skin too. You know how the skins have that kind of floral smell to them? I like this one. This one is definitely working out for me. Um, I'm a little worried about the placement of those wicks right there. You see that? wonder if that would become an issue. I'm guessing it would, but it definitely smells like authentic mango and a little bit of that peel and big time lemon juice lemon zest clean lemon in that mango margarita are there notes on here dang it they are i swear i'm not looking at these notes coconut melon so we see the cantaloupe on here so i said that i smell cantaloupe on the watermelon let's see how this one's different much more sweet. This is like the sweetest uh, cantaloupe I could imagine ever smelling. 
and maybe like uh, to ripen it even further, get it to a more ripe aroma, some banana, even banana peel, definitely pineapple. And, uh, you know, it, it's reminding me of the tropical Starburst candies. Remember those? Starburst with real fruit juice. Yeah, there was the standard Starbucks, or there was <laughs> Starbucks, the tropical that came in the blue package, I believe. That's what this was reminding of. Uh, very satisfying and, and refreshing in the form of candy, but um, not necessarily an authentic cantaloupe, if you ask me. We have a vanilla teakwood. Okay, so this is a little bit more my style, a direction that I tend to lean towards. Oh yeah. I, I, I would definitely, uh, this, this would definitely by far, we have one more to go, but this would be my pick of the litter. Um, definitely have that robust Mountain Lodge aroma, uh, sweet pipe tobacco. It's, it's, it smells like a furniture store, but a furniture store that's selling like antique rocking chairs and dining room tables. Um, very nice. I like it. And the vanilla, yes, certainly serving as an, a base because that's going to smoothen out all of those other notes. I guess the only other note would be the teakwood. What do they say? Warm vanilla, cocoa beans, teakwood. Sea salt sands. Sea salt sands. This is a fantasy candle. Uh, jasmine and uh, uh, gardenia this time, which is weird. You usually you see lavender in there sometimes. Yeah, I'm gonna say like sandalwood, a Yankee candle would call this driftwood. Um, and florals, and as far as citrus, there's gotta be citrus, right? Uh, if I had to pick a citrus off the top of my head, I'm gonna go with lime. Sparkling citrus, island coconut, vanilla, sugar cane. All right, so we just checked out the entire lineup of, I think, yes, we just checked out the entire lineup of Sonoma candles here at Kohl's. They are 50% off, which I'm guessing that makes them $9.99. Yes, $9.99. So it's really not a bad deal. Again, some problems I'm seeing are, the wicks aren't so bad there, but the placement of the wicks, we have a little bit of a, a crater in there. Uh, but these are fully functioning candles, I would imagine, and at a good price. Check them out if you're in uh, Kohl's shopping for Yankee Candle. And so as soon as I leave, I'm back. Why? Because I noticed that these Sonoma candles have a fragrance descriptions on the bottom of the candles, and I did not share them with you. So let's go over these. Coconut Mojito. Uh, again, that stinky bug with pina colada. Very strange, uh, but the notes are going to be... Whoa, whoa, whoa. The notes are going to be sweet coconut, fresh strawberries. And mint. Okay. Um, blue Hawaiian, which to me was all about the pineapple. And pixie sticks, man. This is like... I've said pixie sticks before but I'd never meant it more than I do now. Uh, pineapple juice, uh, maraschino cherry, coconut cream. Uh, and then we did lush island palms. Right here we have lush palm leaves, jungle rose, jungle rose, and cool musk. And then we had the mango margarita. Uh, to me, I said, probably the most authentic. Here we have mango nectar, blood orange, fresh lime juice. I agree with that one all of the way. Um, Tahitian pineapple. Tahitian pineapple, mango, sugar cane. Okay, okay. Watermelon sangria. Now this is the one I said smell like cantaloupe. So let's see what it says. Ripe watermelon, raspberry, fresh lemon zest. I don't know. If you have this one, um, let me know what you think. But to me, I feel like I got a bowl of cantaloupe. 
in front of me for breakfast. Coconut melon, island coconut, grapefruit, and melon. And vanilla teak wood. We had warm vanilla, cocoa beans, and teak wood. All right, cocoa beans. I can totally go in that direction and I can even take it further. Cocoa beans, even coffee bean, coffee bean. Yeah, like a medium plus to dark roast. And a sea salt, sands. Sparkling citrus, island coconut, and vanilla sugar cane. It's funny because there's absolutely no mention of florals on this candle. And 80% of what's happening in this candle is florals. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment in the description below. Has anyone purchased these? What do you think of them? How do they perform? So that's it for me. I gotta go. You guys have a great night and be good, will you?